What's up, everybody? Nate Sarantino here, back with another episode of the Guide to Spirits podcast. And today, I'm going to kind of continue my last episode, but we're going to move it more towards aligning your dreams and passions for drive. And when I say drive, I mean, like, the thing that gets you to keep going in life. Like, when you're in a car and you put it in drive, you're going to be moving forward, and you're going to want to keep moving forward. And the key to this is aligning your dreams and passions and what I mean by this is what you love to do and then what you dream of doing and then like you got to use these dreams to keep you going like you can't like this go work the same monotonous job and just be like oh I have to go work again like that sucks so much and no matter who you are you've probably experienced this feeling and it is one of the worst things that, like, you can go through. It sucks. Like, it's like doing the chores of cleaning. Some people love to clean, so I can't even say that. But, like, I, I personally don't like cleaning. And I do it because I have to. to keep my, my room, my car, my house, everything in order. And the key here is I just get it done. And that's discipline. But... When it comes to being disciplined with things that you love doing, it almost is like you don't even need discipline at that point because you just, you want to do it. And that's the whole point of uh, aligning your passion with your dreams. Like you want, you love what you do and you dream of it. That's like, it all is just like to make you want to keep moving forward. And if you can really master the idea of alignment in your life, not only with what we talked about last week with the passions and skills, but like add this next le- layer to it, which are like what you dream of doing. Like what's your dream career? What's your dream lifestyle? Like what do you want your daily life to look like? And me being 21 years old, I'm thinking about, like, how do I want to live my life? Like, I'm waking up right now at, like, 5.30. I go to the gym in the morning. I get to work by 8, 9 a.m. And then I go about my day doing whatever I do at my job, talk to people, help people with their cars, and just go about helping people and I love to talk so I'm doing that that's a passion I love helping people that's another passion and then at the same time I'm always finding ways to drop little like nuggets of knowledge on people throughout the day whether it be big things like how addiction can affect someone or small things just like oh this is like how like life works in a hermetic principle and it's just like you get these little ups and downs and you can show people like, oh yeah, like your perspective matters. If you're optimistic, you're more likely to attract a more optimistic outcome. Stuff like that. It's all this like, these are the passions and I'm aligning these passions with my dreams of working with a car that's so fun to drive and fun to this be in, which is a BMW. And once again, it's like, this is like, one of my dreams for a long time was to get a, uh, uh, 335i. And now I've kind of shifted that to a, uh, M2 where it's like either that or like a, um, M4. I basically just want a coupe that's a six speed manual. And, uh, I think that would be like really fun, but I think the smaller one would be better. Regardless, it's all about aligning my dreams and my passions. And you can hear in someone's voice if they're actually passionate about something. And that's the whole point. You want to figure out what you're passionate about and then go after it and align that with the dream. Like whatever your dream is, like you're going to you're going to figure out what your dreams are through your passions. Like if you love doing something, you're going to basically dream of doing what you love your entire life. And whether that's speaking, whether it's working any kind of trade, whether it's you know working with numbers and doing math like some people love working with money and they have a passion for doing math they like working with numbers some people like working with words so it's like there's all kinds of jobs that you can have and have passions for certain like 
you know, whatever niche it may be. And the point is to align that passion with the dream. And then your, your drive is just going to go up through the roof. Like you're going to be so ambitious because you're going to love what you're doing and you're going to want to keep doing more of it. And you're going to want to grow and become better. You want to become the best at whatever it is that you're doing. And that's how you actually make money. If you want to make a lot of money in this world, or be successful in whatever sense, you need to become the best at whatever it is that you love doing the most. And that's how you're really going to succeed. And the real definition of success, no matter how you look at it, is doing what you love for a career. Like if you can find a way to get paid doing what you love for a career and like actually making a dream real life. I mean, that's basically turning this life on earth into heaven. And if you can turn life on earth into heaven, damn, you're doing something right. And that's basically where I want to end this. Uh, thank you for listening. My name is Nate Sarantino and have a great rest of your day.